Good morning, my friends. Thanks for tuning in again to the CJ Nerf Channel. Well, my YouTube fam, another year is in the books. And you know what? You guys have become more and more a part of my life and my family's life. So going forward, we're going to be doing this video at the end of every year. And basically what I want to do is, one, give a massive and humble thank you to all of you who have supported me either through the beginning or have just discovered my channel now and are tuning in. And basically, since you guys have been with me and are a big part of this journey with me, I want to share my successes as well as my failures and my struggles. So, since this is the very first time I'm doing this video, I'm actually going to give you a kind of a recap from why I began, how I did, the mistakes I made along the way, and where I'm at now. And then, at the end of this video, we're going to give you guys a big, massive blaster giveaway. This is my way saying thank you for giving me a banner 2018. Guys, did I mention? Take a look at the new revamped rival wall. But I have one problem. I haven't even taken the blue Helios out and I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Anybody got any thoughts? But what do you guys think? So my friends, for those of you who are interested why I began YouTube or how I got my start and I'm gonna take it back to the beginning for you. It was November of 2015 and I basically went out and went to Walmart and saw the Spectre Rev 5 on Walmart shelf for five bucks. So I grabbed two of them. And then I started collecting other toys from when I was a kid, such as wiffle ball bats and balls, and the Nerf basketball hoop that you hang up over your door. And I got all this stuff in anticipation for when my son would be old enough to start using it. I didn't know anything about Nerf at that time, and Nerf had pretty much advanced so far from when I was a kid. I mean, basically there was the tabletop ping pong, for Nerf and then you had the regular orange ball and then of course Nerf footballs and soccer balls that's kind of what I knew Nerf as when I was a kid just to see where the hobby had gone in the course of my lifetime I just thought it was epic so I thought what better way than to start a collection for my son and that's basically the foundation of how I started this channel I wanted to video document me collecting for my kid so when he got old enough he would appreciate this hobby because honestly what child or a kid does not like Nerf. Put a Nerf blaster in anybody's hands, whether it be an adult, a grandparent, a young child, the smile is just instantaneous. And now I'm getting into more and more exciting things, like my son has got a bunch of friends now and Nerf Wars are gonna be coming a part of his birthday parties. And it's just, and then the fact I met all of you guys and the comment section, I talk to all of you guys all the time. It's just, it's been an epic adventure. For those of you that have been with me from the beginning when I was really just kind of documenting my collecting to a full-blown blaster channel complete with reviews, unboxings, um, mods, not the most elaborate mods, but mods, okay? I'm getting better at it. That's my goal for 2019, or one of them. Um, just, we do a lot of fun content on this channel and we totally keep it family friendly and we give you a lot of points of view from my four-year-old. So I have him demonstrate a lot of these blasters. So if you're a parent or a grandparent and you walk into a store, that Nerf aisle can be quite intimidating. So to know exactly what to expect and to watch a four-year-old actually demonstrate a blaster that you may not have thought your kidder was ready for is a different point of view that I like to bring to the table. Now, I do wanna go over a couple of the biggest mistakes that I have personally made on YouTube. So for those of you that are starting a channel now, and or maybe trying to think about getting into it, don't make these mistakes, okay? Because it does put you in a hole that you do need to climb out of, and I'm actually beginning to climb out of it now, and it's pretty awesome to watch the growth of my channel here at the end of 2018. Big mistake or regret number one. There was a point in my YouTube early life that I was actually a little worried about the name of my channel. Some of you might remember this if you've been around with me for that long. So I decided to basically shut this channel down and start another channel, but also incorporate other toys other than Nerf. And it was probably the biggest mistake I ever made. I deleted tons of content off of this channel and I lost probably close to 400,000 views, which I didn't realize at the time meant authority. So every time somebody watches your video, it builds up your channel authority with the amount of watch time that you gain. Well, I basically crippled my channel by doing that. Those views that I deleted were, oh man, it really crippled me as far as my overall channel growth because I was getting pretty good authority when I would release a video and then it went to, wow, it was like crickets. I would release a video and it was like, nobody was watching it and nobody was sure where to watch me, either on the other channel or this channel. And I just kind of was like, oh man, I need to bring back the CJ Nerf channel. 
So I canceled the other channel. I went everything back onto this channel and then I began posting again. And then what ended up happening was I needed a serious back surgery and I ended up basically inactive between the major surgery that I had to get and then I was actually moving to a different state. So I almost had a year where I didn't post. And between that and the deletions of the channel, it just really, a lot of people didn't know what to think. They didn't know if I was coming back. They didn't know if I died. And it was just a lot of beginner errors on YouTube. I mean, there's no other way to actually put it than I just made mistakes. I didn't know and I had to learn from them. And that's a big part of being on YouTube. But honestly, 2017, I went into knowing that it was gonna be a rebuilding year for me. Um, that was the year that I was coming back off of the off of the 2016 debacle of disappearing because of surgeries and not being able to film because all my stuff was packed up, waiting to move to a different state. So 2017, I knew it was gonna be a rough year because I was gonna be posting and it was gonna be basically building up my channel authority. So my friends, to show you some of the impacts of those two errors that I made in judgment, 2017 was a rebuilding year for me. And I basically made 294 subscribers and I went from probably about 10,000 views, I got it back to over 100,000. But keep in mind, because of the ones I deleted, I should have been at 512,000 views. So that just goes to show you how many views I actually deleted. That was a rough one. But here in 2018, my friends, I've actually gained probably close to 2,200 subscribers. I've got up to 405,000 views and I've actually published about 149 videos since the beginning of the year. So basically my subscribers went up by 656.12%, my views went up 282%, and my video production went up 29%. Now I totally intend to improve on all of these numbers going into next year. 2018, I had set a lot of personal goals for myself because I knew how rough 2017 was gonna be based on decisions I had made earlier in my YouTube channel. And the fact that I achieved a few of them and even got a couple that I weren't expecting was epic and really just reinvigorated me and got me so excited to keep going on this journey. And one, I actually cracked the 500,000 view mark, which was a personal goal. Uh, two, I actually had a goal of hitting 5,000 subscribers before December 31st of 2018. And I actually hit it on December 4th, thanks to all of you and it's actually gone considerably past there in the rest of this month so far. So I got a nice little jump into next year's goal that I've already preset. And then finally, my third goal was to actually, this was actually a goal I set the day I started YouTube. And that was, I wanted to get a package from Hasbro. I had seen a bunch of guys that got them and I was like, man, one day, I said, one day I'm gonna work my butt off, I'm gonna make this channel successful and I'm just hoping one day I'll actually get that PR package, right? or just get a box of free blasters. How cool would that be? That's what I always kept thinking to myself. Well guys, it happened here in 2018, and not only did I get two packages from Hasbro, which I'm extremely thankful for, thank you guys, I really appreciate everything. I actually got three packages from Zuru X-Shot, and I also got one package from Busby Toys. So, my goals for 2019, if in case you're interested, um, I wanna continue to work with different brands, if I can. I'd like to extend into more collaborations with other YouTubers if you guys are interested. I definitely want to expand in modding. Uh, I want to improve my sound quality so I will be getting some new audio equipment going into 2019. I have already improved my lighting with a new lighting kit. Um, hopefully that's coming across in the videos. I don't even know if you guys can tell to be honest. Uh, and then as far as channel goals, I do want to crack 10,000 subscribers before December 31st of 2019. I do want to hit the 1 million view mark. Uh, that's a big one I have. And I have a personal goal on video production. I want to produce 200 videos here in 2019. And that's a big one, my friends. If you think, you know, it's only so many days in the year and each video takes considerable amount of time to make. So that's a lofty goal. And actually all of them are to me. But I'm going to do everything in my power to actually reach them. And if I fall a little short, it is what it is but that's not my mindset. My mindset is set the goal extremely high, do everything that I can to reach it, bring you guys quality content that I hope you enjoy from a family-friendly perspective, 
basically, let's just kick some butt here in 2019 and have some fun, my friends, because that's what it's all about. Now onto the part that you guys are probably really wondering about. We also have decided, after some serious thought, that we're going to go ahead and give away... A Shorty Nerf Blaster. That's right. 13 Nerf Blasters. So, my friends, after some serious discussion with my family, we decided that this was the best way to express our thanks to all of you for giving us a Banner 2018. All right, so we have 13 blasters that we're going to be giving away, five of which have already been determined where they're going. That means you have eight random chances to win. So here's how you enter. To enter this contest, it's simple. This video is releasing today, the day before Christmas. You have until New Year's Day. I'm getting up at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to actually film the results video, and that'll release later that day on New Year's Day. So simply leave a comment in the comment section. At the end of your comment, you must include the hashtag Caleb, C-A-L-E-B. All entries without that hashtag at the end of your comment will not be eligible to win. So my friends, like I said before in the video, there are 13 total Nerf blasters or gifts that I'm giving away, uh, five of which have already been predetermined where they're going. Two of those are gonna be going to overseas subscribers that don't live within the United States. So having said that, you guys know how much shipping can kind of cost, so the, the remaining eight Nerf gifts will only be available to those of you that live within the United States. I do apologize, but I am paying to ship all of these blasters and it can get quite expensive and I'm already shipping two overseas. Hope you guys understand. So my friends, I hope you guys really enjoyed this recap of my channel, taking a look at all of my struggles, my failures, and of course my successes and the way 2018 turned everything around. I really appreciate all of you guys. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hope you guys have a wonderful, safe holiday with your family. Let's have some fun in 2019. Get those comments in so you got a chance to win on New Year's Day. See you guys later.